everybody. Uh, my talk is a uh, back to basics, organizing your styles in your Angular project. I know this topic is a bit more like humble in terms of like uh, the topic, but like this is a strategy when you go from styles to theming. Uh, and just to introduce myself, my name is Alex. My pronouns are he, him. I'm a software engineer based on Los Angeles, spe specializing in front end development, user experience, design and products. Currently I'm looking for work. So I would love to connect if you have like opening positions to your company. And why did I make this talk? Um, I think uh, given that this is only like five minutes, I wanted to become like practical um, and I wanted to be in like under five minutes. And so uh, I wanted to uh, tap into my engineering UX and product skills and like combine all of that into, the, in, into this talk. Um, when we have the trends of like different like um, like brands, let's say Facebook, where they have like a newer, darker theme, or like uh, Slack, where it took longer to make their like dark theme, you know, like there are like these are these brands, and even LinkedIn right now that has a new uh, facelift in terms of like their UI. All of these have been supported by uh, styles or CSS in particular, and this have evolved throughout time, and that experience just changed from you know you have like a standard design to creating more themes that becomes more accessible, especially if you want to have a new market, let's say for developers, we have you, that you don't, you have screens that are both like white and screens that are like dark in terms of like development. Traditionally, when you make um, uh, CSS, and this is before Angular, React, or all of these frameworks come about, um, this is the usual way we do it. Um, you just like have the framework for the CSS, you may be overriding it, maybe a shim, and then a custom CSS that you, you'd make for your own application. Um, and when your product uh, becomes like bigger, it's much harder to manage all of those styles, especially when you have like a lot of CSS to handle. And a lot of strategies have been like uh, made throughout uh, the years, which is like um, object-oriented CSS, uh, where uh, BEM is like a block element modifiers, uh, SMAC CSS for a scalable and modularity, atomic, multi-layer CSS, atomic, and there are so many other styles like fun. Um, and these have been like making your product more extensible in make uh, and making your styles. Um, and in the advent of Angular and other like frameworks uh, in component driven development, it became more much more robust in terms of like uh, combining and packaging a component with its HTML, JavaScript, or TypeScript and CSS uh, into like a certain component. And much love has been given to a lot of like uh, Angular projects in scaling, especially when you're making components, as you would notice in your folder structure, you break down into like modules, pages, guards, interceptors, et cetera. But there's not much love when you take a look at um, like your <laughs> styles. It's just like, oh, you have your base styles and you have like your styles. And part of it is because coming back to Angular um, and especially with the advent that uh, material design, the design language also made by Google, uh, you end up with this like uh, easy to make a style sheet that when you do like the when you do a new app in Angular and you choose SCSS for theming, you can have like already an automatic theme that's already applied to your application, and so uh, there's no point like in managing it more. But what happens if uh, and it's easy to make more multiple like uh, themes uh, through Angular Material and because of the mixins and uh, SAS three or SCSS, it's easy to manage. Um, in this article, actually, this is like where you, you they, uh, Kevin Matthew bundled it together nicely. And uh, the strategy here was to create a theme base, split off the themes into like a theme dark and a default uh, essay, uh, file. Then just like add uh, this property in your Angular JSON and then load your theme. And you create a theme service that manages that. And voila, you have like a theme based Angular app. Uh, that you could change your themes most uh, in your app. But what happens if you add like another framework, let's say AG Grid or like, um, like Kendo or like maybe the one right now like Joint.js, um, I think it becomes more harder to manage all of this branding that you want for your theming. And so to extend the idea of like breaking that three of like having like a multiple theme of uh, these three, um, you want to extend it through like each of the frameworks and then have your main base as your Angular app. And so I would create something like a material default dark and a material default and an age grid theme and default dark, you know. Um, and that will make it uh, much more easier to group together all of the themes that you want. Um, you could start out by just having one theme, but it makes you ready for like making more themes in the future. Um, and it would look like this. 
uh, when you end up having like a default and then comparison with a dark, the default for AG grid and the dark for AG grid and so on and so forth. I use CS uh, SAS3 just to make it more faster. Uh, I've done it like in a few hours and like I have the whole theme all together. And if you look at these files already in a high level, it will look, look something like this. And in your main file, it would look something like the one that you originally see in making your breaking down your styles originally, like the traditional way. And I think after that, you have a more well-organized styles. And I hope uh, that uh, breakdown is uh, a good tip for you that I, would, I will show you a demo of like what I've done. Um, and it's like actually here. <laughs> I'm a big Pokemon fan. Um, I do like Michael, it's like, which I have my plushies here. <laughs> um, uh, this is just like a one-off, like from all of the resources that I've done. Uh, and then you can have a theme, you have AG grid and then you have material. If you don't have a brand, if you don't have a theme for AG grid, it's, it just becomes white. It still becomes white by then, by here. So thank you for listening. Um, uh, that was my talk. <laughs>